Students, I'm thrilled to introduce you to our inquiry curriculum advisors. Just as your coaches have guided your achievement in clinical learning, this elite group of faculty, clinicians, and researchers from across UCSF has been chosen to help you with your scholarly endeavors during career launch. They'll support you in finding a deep explore project, follow your progress, and approve your final deep explore submission. We hope you'll enjoy the perspectives offered here as your new inquiry advisors inspire you with their experience and the breadth of scholarship and faculty expertise available in Inquiry Deep Explore. So I think one of the many strengths of UCSF is that we have so much research going on and so much expertise and I think we have breadth as well as depth. So we have people that are doing really great basic science research, clinical research, translational sort of bench to bedside research. We have um, policy research, implementation science, and you know, we have so many campuses and so many researches. And so what we as advisors have been doing is trying to get our arms around all of the resources UCSF has so that we can help make those available for our students to use and help decide and uh, be able to do any kind of research that they want to do as part of their um, explore projects. Again, coming back to what is inquiry about is asking questions or being inspired to ask questions when you haven't really found a good answer. And the students are just amazing. They're super enthusiastic about their projects. They want to uh, really make a difference around the world. And so tr helping them come up with good questions, connecting them with mentors, and uh, thinking about what's feasible for a project is, is really inspiring to me. I can help students figure out, you know, how is this going to really lead to the future, to the next step? And how does it connect the dots to what they're going to do in residency and as a fellow maybe and as a faculty member? So I think seeing the future by seeing my past and my present is probably one of the greatest things I can, uh, I can show students. So I think the first thing is just to be honest to your, with yourself about what kind of work you want to do. If you're interested in really basic science, you want more translational work, more quality improvement, exactly what you want to do and what kind of physical work you want to be doing. And then I think it's really important to try to talk to others and learn about who might be a good potential mentor, who has a track record as a mentor, because that's 90% of this is working with someone who you click with and really can learn from. I think that the students who are going to have the absolute best experience are going to be those working with, with the right mentor. And um, I think that um, in some cases I can be helpful to them in identifying that person. Think about what makes your heart sing. Think about what keeps you up at night. Think about the clinical care um, experience or the, the newspaper article or the publication that you read recently. Think about a conversation that you had with a colleague in the library. What are the, what are the stories and what are the um, questions that keep coming back to you, that keep nagging at you? And focus on those things because those are the things that are going to spur you to read more literature, to find more answers, to talk to more people, and to explore more deeply. Um, those are the things that are going to make for a really rewarding and exciting uh, research project during your medical school years. <laughs> <laughs>